Hello everyone and welcome to our new video. Today I'm here, like always, with Alexander. Hi guys. And today's topic will be how to connect WordPress tables with Google Spreadsheets API. Our plugin has this function and we're going to show you the step-by-step -step tutorial how you can connect these two. So Alexander, you can start. Thanks. Um, okay. Uh, creating tables that are showing Google Spreadsheet uh, data have been has been a function for WP Data Tables for quite some time, but adding the spreadsheets through the API is relatively new. Um, you can check out the text uh, tutorial on our documentation. We'll go through them um, in this video. So in here, you can click on this link that will take you to your Google Developers Console. So the first thing we need to do is to create a new project. Mm, okay, Sheets API, we'll call it like that. So create a project and as soon as it opens up, as soon as it's created, you can uh, select that project in here. So select the project and this, the name changed right here. So now we need to add a couple of APIs. Under APIs and services, you go to the library. First thing we need is Google Drive API. It's right here, but if you don't see it on the uh, first page, you can search for it up here. Select that API and enable it. Once it's enabled, we'll go back to the library and uh, can and enable the Google Sheets API. Okay. We need both. Okay. This seems to have been enabled now. It loads up and we need to go back to APIs and Services Library. Here we click on Google Sheets API, enable that one as well. And after this is enabled, we can simply uh, go to the dashboard of this project and see all APIs that are enabled. Um, in my account, I have a lot of um, APIs enabled, but <laughs> these two are the ones that we're looking for. So now we need to create some creden credentials. Up here, click on Create Credentials and choose Service Account. Service Account name could be Google Sheets API. And click on Create. Now we select a role, we have to wait a bit for it to load, and here it is, we choose editor. After that, we click on continue, we just double check the documentation real quick, should be somewhere uh, in the middle. Okay, here we are at the editor section, continue, and that's it, we simply need to click on done. All right. Now uh, we can click on the service account and click to get the JSON data. It will open up and let me see that now that we've clicked the JSON data, we need to add a key. Let's see. Yeah, Google changes stuff pretty frequently. So the key is up here. Now we need to click on add key and create a new key. Type JSON and click on create. So the JSON file is saved to your computer and we can close that. We now need to open up. That's basically it from the Google side. Yeah, that should be it, right. So now that we open up the JSON file, we can see all this. And now back to WP Data Tables. Under Settings, go to Google Spreadsheet API Settings. And in here, you actually need to paste this JSON file, the contents of the file, actually. So after we paste this, click on Validate and Save. If I did everything correctly, it should just come up. 
as that's it. Your Google service account is this. Okay, so now all we need to do is create a new WP data table. I have a dummy employees table, so first thing I've got to do is to um, share that table. And in the field, add people and groups, you need to um, paste your Google service account email that is copied from WP data tables settings. That's this email right here. Mm -hmm. So in here, we paste that, click on it, and we don't need to notify anyone. So simply share. Mm, not in Google's workspace, that's okay, share anyway. And that's pretty much it. So if you now create a table from that spreadsheet, Yes, um, we just need to copy the URL. I did that right here. So once again, copy, create a Google spreadsheet table, paste, save changes, and that table is displayed in WP data tables. Um, one thing to note here is that this document has not been published. Yeah, it, that, that, that is my question. Do you <laughs> need to publish that document or you can create a table if the document is private? Um, in this case, when using the API, we don't need to publish it to the web. So if I click on this, you will see that it's not published. It, it's an yeah. option for, for us to publish it. but no need when using the API and the older method and uh, just linking without the API and, and the WP data table settings you would need to publish the okay, documents so, to the web so that's it that's the one improvement yeah. using the API yes also I saw on the, in documentation for the basically just connecting with the Google spreadsheet there was some cache issues with Google yeah, that's, is that case also for using API or not? No, no, that, that's gone. So in, in, uh, in the older uh, method, there was like 5 to 15 minutes of uh, cache uh, on Google side. But with API, it should be instantaneous. So if I change this name to Alexander and wait for Google to save it, save to drive, if I refresh the page, uh, ID 1 should change right away. And here it is. Yeah, nice. So nice. no cache, uh, whatever changes you make to this file will be shown in WP. Is it shown in, uh, w yes. Okay, nice. So that's, that's basically it. <laughs> that's pretty much yeah. it. Thank you guys for, again for watching and also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any new videos. Alexander, thank you again. You're welcome. Thank you. And also, guys, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below. See you in another video. Take, Take care. care. Bye. Bye-bye.